Hey friends, welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Kate. I'm a landscape designer and avid gardener here in Seattle, Washington. This channel is all about me sharing my life as a landscaper and designer, all of my knowledge, my tips and tricks. And if that sounds good to you, I'd love to have you along. Today we're heading out into the garden. I'm making myself a cup of coffee. We're gonna get out there. I'm gonna do some late winter cleanup and dive into the top five things my garden has taught me in 2023. The very first thing that my garden taught me was get out in the front yard. So this is the year that we installed um, our patio space and raised beds in the front garden. And it was profound how deeply this impacted our lives. We met so many new neighbors. We shared produce. We swapped gardening tips. We had just wonderful conversation and connection. And what I realized is that by placing a communal gathering space literally in my front yard, we had created a sense of invitation. So no longer was the invitation at our front door. It was at the sidewalk. And doing that, it was literally as if we had moved in for the first time. And I cannot emphasize enough how much that impacted our lives. All right, lesson number two, make mistakes and enjoy the process. I feel like this is a lesson that I remind myself of every year. And it reminds me a lot, actually, of when I taught edible gardening at an elementary school. I would encounter a lot of kids who were so afraid of killing a plant, making a mistake, doing something wrong. And what I would tell them is I would say, here I am, a professional and I literally kill more plants than anyone I know. And the only thing that means is that I am out here trying. So this year, as I look at the lovely three dead boxwood in my front yard, I am just taking it in. I'm getting humble. I'm acknowledging that even a professional can be terrible at hand watering. And this is a reason I automate things. So make the mistakes, learn from it, enjoy the process, move on. All right, lesson number three, don't save yourself for last. Oof, okay, this is actually a big one and it's also a goal for next year. This past year, I installed a staggering 843 containers. And what I noticed every single season, and by the way, I install them seasonally. So I have spring, summer, fall, and then winter slash holiday containers. And what I noticed every season is that I was installing my containers last. And here's the deal. I, I know why I do it. It's because I love my clients and I want to have a full tank when I go install for everyone. But on the flip side, I realize that putting myself first doesn't actually empty my tank at all. It fills it up. I get a little bit of that creative juice for me, which then ignites the spark that will take me through the rest of the season. So in 2024, I'm going to go first. Lesson number four is to garden unplugged. Here is what I mean. I am really like a podcast self-development book junkie. I love to throw in a good podcast, love to throw in an audiobook and head out in the garden. I just feel like it's a nice way to learn as I'm doing maybe a more rep repetitive task. However, what I did start to notice is that these were distraction techniques for me and I I actually really need the garden to ground myself. So what I started to play with and lean into is um, the Buddhists talk about a sort of like active or walking meditation as an opportunity to be present, to ground yourself, to blend mind, body, spirit, all of that. And so this year I am vowing to do more active, meditative gardening. I'm actually going to take off my gloves. Bonus points here. I'm going to get my fingers in the soil and really listen to the wind, the hum of the insects, and let my world slow down. Lesson number five learned from the garden this year is to plant more cut flowers. 
I had a super packed schedule this year and then was also busy working on the front yard and I really did not have time to install the cut flower like I usually do in the backyard. What ended up happening though is every week it would get more weedy and overrun and by the end of the growing season I, I was just like haunted by it. Not only was it an eyesore but also I was missing all of the cut flowers that I could cut and fill every corner of my house with. More specifically, I actually really missed my zinnias and my cosmos. I missed the joy of it. So really that lesson is about doing something that, I don't know, it may seem a little frivolous to grow and plant cut flowers, but at the end of the day, it is so life-giving. So those little moments of beauty that seem to be way down on the priority list, those are life-giving and they're actually more of a priority than we even think that they will be. So that's my wrap up. Happy 2023. I would love to hear what you have learned from your garden. So leave that in the comments below. I, I just learned so much from witnessing what other people do and how other people think and, and it just opens my mind to endless possibilities. Wishing you a beautiful new year. We'll see you in the next one.